Welcome to the Vineyard Studio. Today I want to show you how to create this four foot wide four leaf clover. And it all starts with these six inch lime green link balloons. In addition to the nozzle, these balloons have a tail on the other end and that allows us to tie them all together in special ways. I'm using this hand pump to inflate all of today's balloons and the first thing we need to do is inflate all 48 of these link balloons to six pumps of air each or about five inches in diameter. To make this process go even faster, I'm going to tuck the nozzle of that balloon under one of my fingers holding the pump while I inflate a second balloon to the exact same size and then I'll tie the two of these together into a pair by overlapping the nozzles, wrapping them around twice, and tying them together in a simple knot. Once all the link balloons have been tied into pairs like this, I'm then going to take two pairs and tie the tail ends of each of those pairs together so we create a string of four link balloons tied end to end. I then repeated this step until all of my link balloons were tied together into these strings of four balloons each. Set four of these aside and all the rest of them we're going to tie together again so we get a string of eight balloon links. In total, this will give us four strings of eight balloons and four strings of four balloons. To shape the leaves of our clover, take two four link strings and hold them side by side. We're going to tie these together into ribbons. So tie the tail ends of each of those together so we get a string of eight. But don't let go of this tie point as that's going to be the center and the topmost section of this ribbon. So from that tie point, fold the two strings so they're sitting side by side once again. And from that knot, count down two balloons and the nozzles right after that second balloon, we're going to twist around each other two or three times so that the balloon nozzles create an X. To keep this from unwinding itself, I'm going to add in a little balloon pair. And this is just two five inch balloons that I've inflated to two pumps of air each. And I'm going to wrap that pair all the way around so both balloons are sitting on the front side, twist them around each other, and then place one balloon on the front of the X and one balloon on the back. This keeps the design from untwisting and allows us to create a nice flat front for our shamrock. Now the two remaining balloon tails that are still free, we're going to tie those two together so we get this nice rectangle shape which will make up one of the leaves in our four leaf clover. Make a second one of these in the exact same way and then we need to make some larger ribbons from our eight balloon links. Hold these two strings side by side and then tie the two ends together and that will be our central knot. Then count two balloons down from that central knot, twist those around each other and then lock it in place with more of those tiny balloon pairs. I'm going to keep doing this until I've got three X's made in this ribbon before tying the two ends together. If you'd like a little extra help assembling this clover, I've got a set of digital plans linked in the description box below. These include step-by-step -step written instructions, detailed full-color illustrations, as well as a complete supply list for today's project. Once you've finished the large ribbon, make a second one in the exact same way, and then we're going to join the two of those ribbons together into a giant rectangle. So lay them side by side, and everywhere that the nozzles touch between those two ribbons, that's where we're going to tie them together using more of those tiny balloon pairs. Slip one balloon of that pair through the center of one ribbon, wrap it all the way around the back, and bring it up through the center of the other ribbon. Then twist those two tiny balloons around each other and put one on the front and one on the back just like we did when we were making the ribbons. Then I'm just going to repeat this step everywhere those nozzles meet until we have one gigantic rectangle which will make up the center of our clover. To that rectangle, I'm going to attach one of the small ribbons in the very center of the long side of that rectangle and secure the two of them together just like we did the larger sections anywhere those nozzles meet. Once I've got this side secured, I'm going to do the exact same thing on the opposite side so in the end it should look a bit like a cross. Now if we rotate this 45 degrees, that's when it begins to look like a clover. Now you could always leave it with this lattice look but I want to fill in all of these gaps with some balloon pairs. Now these are 5 inch balloons balloons that have inflated to four pumps of air each or about four and a half inches in diameter. Simply slip one of the balloons of that pair through every gap so that one balloon sits on the front side of the clover and one sits on the back side. The tension between all the link balloons will hold these pairs in place, giving us a beautiful infill of our clover without having to tie any knots. Next we need a cute little stem to add to our clover. I'm going to make one from this Lime 260 balloon and inflate it to six pumps of air using my hand pump before tying the nozzle off in a knot. Then I'm going to squeeze the entire length of the balloon to soften up the latex as well as push any extra air towards the end of the balloon. Fold the balloon in half so that the inflated sections align with each other and find the middle point. At that point, pinch the balloon and twist it around a couple times. 
After that twist, make a one inch bubble. So move one inch towards the tail of the balloon, pinch it, and twist it a couple more times. Now we're gonna make a pinch twist. So fold the balloon over so that the long parts of the balloon are touching each other with that bubble we just made pointing out and twist that bubble around a couple times. This will make a 90 degree angle in our balloon. And now we need to make the short side of our stem. So I'm gonna measure four fingers or about three inches in length pinch the balloon and twist it again. Now make one more one inch bubble that we're gonna turn into another pinch twist. Once you've made the pinch twist, rotate the balloons around so it looks like a really tall U shape. The long sides of this shape should be about the same length, but if they're not 100% the same, don't worry, that will be hidden inside the clover. Now we're gonna tie the stem into the bottom of our clover between two of the leaves. So take the tail of that 260 or the nozzle and tie it to one of the two pump balloon pairs at the base of each of the leaf lobes. Now you can either wrap the tail around a couple times or you could tie it in a knot to one of those nozzles. Wedge the 260 balloon down between two of the link balloons so it comes straight out of the clover. Do the exact same thing with the other end of the 260 balloon, making sure everything is nice and flat and that stem isn't pointing out towards the front or behind the clover. Whether you wanna use this as a standalone piece or integrate it into a larger balloon design, this clover is ready for a party or celebration. If you enjoyed today's project, you should check out this video. And until the next time, remember, stay creative everybody.